Hi guys, how's it going? Name is Lorraine and welcome to the New Earth community. Welcome to today's Collective Tarot Love Reading. Alright guys, so once again let's focus in on your person. A person you want to know, a person you want to get close to, or a person you want to take it to the next level. We're talking about exclusive. We're talking about a serious relationship here, serious commitment. So let's focus in on this person's thoughts, their emotions, as well as their actions. Coming in with the light says deck. So first we're going to pull a crowning card. This is an overview of your reading. All right, guys, and then we're going to pull additional cards to clarify your reading. And if I need to pull more, guys, I will. Now we're also going to end it out with an alien oracle card. So let's dive deep guys and let's see what messages the cards have for you. What do you need to know? What do you need to know about your person? Their thoughts, your emotions as well as their actions. You need to know. Okay, one please. I wouldn't know which one to choose. One please. Okay, the high priestess. <clears throat> okay, guys. All right, one moment. Sorry, guys. I have. A dry throat. All right. So when you're coming in with the high priestess, all right, guys, what it talks about there in your reading is that this person has chosen a path. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. The path here is to follow, like a sheep, 3D world, the, what everybody else is doing, live their life that way, I think this person has already done that or choose to follow what they want to do, to trust in what they want to do here, to do things differently when you're coming in with the high priestess, to think outside of the box here in your reading. All right. The high priestess is, talks about mercy and severity it's all about this person's emotions because the high priestess is connected to the moon this person's feelings here their emotions all right guys and also their intuition here and trusting it and trusting in what they know to be true as being certain and clear that's the path here that this person is wanting to take this is what i'm getting here in your reading See, they know everything, but they know nothing. This is why this person is still a student. Okay, very, they have a high intellect. Okay, and intellect here is the way in which they think. This person may have been a boss. This person may have been in senior management, or they were working towards that. Now they have that, that capability, that capacity to think in that kind of area to fulfill that role if they are wanting to but here in your reading what I kind of get when you're coming in with the high priestess it's a person who doesn't like to be limited here by what other people ha say or do or the guidelines that other people are saying or have put in place here they don't want to be defined here in your reading by what other pe people say that certain things should look like or feel like. You feel this way because of, okay? You act this way because of, here in your reading. It's, it's, it's like coming away from fitting into a square box because people say that's where you go, that's how you think. So just think about, just think small, all right? The high priestess whereas the high priestess here in your reading is actually thinking big thinking bigger than what is expected of them okay no gender here 
Now, what it can also talk about here in your reading is that there, uh, there is a depth here to this person that nobody kind of knows about here. They can kind of call it mysterious, but that's what mysterious, when it comes in with the high priestess, that's what it can kind of mean here, guys, is that they don't reveal their cards. They're not out there saying, I... I have a deep knowing, I have a deep understanding about the universe and how it works and how we can work it together. Alright guys, that's what I'm kind of picking up on here when it comes to the high priestess. Now this person could also have a mentor, this person could also be working in collaboration with others here in your reading. Alright. What it also talks about here is it talks about the way in which we're talking about intelligence, the way in which this person helps others to help themselves. It's not about recognition, and I kind of got that when I was shuffling your deck here. This person doesn't like to get too up in their ego because of the way in which people see them the way and what people say to this person. Some, you, do you understand? They don't put too much into that. Yeah, they value what people say. All right, guys. They appreciate what people say, say about them and the work that they do. But it does not define this person, the person on your mind. So let's say here in your readings, oh, people will say, oh, well, this person is a good singer. They won't allow that to build their ego. They, that's how it can kind of come in here, all right? Because that's not who they truly are. When people say certain things here, guys, like I said, they won't be defined by what other people say. It's bigger than that for them. There is a bigger picture here. This person does not like to be a sheep. They do not like to follow what everybody else is doing when you're reading they trust in what they know to be true when we talk about the universe we're talking about how the universe works here we're talking about plants we're talking about um, animals here compassion and empathy and also people here in your reading it isn't about ignoring what other people are going through just because everything is okay with you That's what I'm getting. Or th because everything is okay in this person's environment here. You know, the bigger picture, the bigger realization here, guys, is what's happening in the world and how that, that, that is impacted, all right, on humanity. All right, the high priestess. They attract a lot of attention, good attention as well as negative attention here, okay? They have their own way of thinking. They do not think like everybody else. Here in your reading. So let's have a look, okay? Let's see what we are able to, what, what can we see here? What can we know? about the person on your mind what do you need to know they're different guys this is what i'm getting they're different to what you were used to this person is they think differently they're different to people around them and they know it it's almost like saying here in your reading this person has never really fitted into any kind of part of society here they may have tried all right, guys, but they don't. Here in your reading, love and nurture and care is what this person is on about, is what this person likes to do. They could very well have a YouTube channel. They could have some kind of social media platform where they share what they know. They share their knowledge. Their understanding here as a way of, 
waking up the masses here. All right, guys. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> let's go. I would say people, there are a lot of people that watch this person. There are a lot of people that are drawn to this person. Okay, they, they catch a lot of attention here. Okay, the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. All right, you have the Three of Wands. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Queen of Swords. And you also have Judgment. All right, bottom of the deck, you're coming in with the Seven of Cups, um, Page of Cups. All right, okay. All right, guys, so we'll just pull an Alien Oracle card. All right, telepathy, telepathy. Okay, and I'll talk to that. Then you just, okay. Okay, I must remember my thought here. Mm. Okay, so you've got the Six of Cups and the three, the three of Wands here. Okay, what it kind of tells me here in your reading is that this person has always wanted a solid relationship. They've always waited for a good relationship here. This person may have waited for you in the past here, Collective. The High Priestess. The High Priestess is actually coming in as the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords here in your reading. And which is pretty much how that goes. Okay. See, it kind of tells me here in your reading is that this person never wanted a relationship, but they never found the relationship in which they wanted. Here in your reading. Okay, guys, they've gotten themselves into serious relationships, but it never went the way in which they wanted. It wasn't, it's almost like they may have just jumped into certain relationships in the past. Here. They've always wanted a serious relationship. They've always wanted a relationship here. That's what I'm getting. But what it can also talk about here in your reading is that it had to be a certain way. It had to be like what everybody else said it would be. It had to follow or it was defined here by this person's upbringing. And so they waited for it. It's almost like saying here in your reading, your person had high expectations. And what I'm kind of getting with that, nobody met their expectations. Nobody did. Yeah. They may have waited for you here, collective, like I said. Okay. Now, okay. See, what I kind of get with the Seven of Swords, and it has been coming out lately, is that there is a lot of envy around your person. There's a lot of envy around your person. And they don't kind of know how to deal with it here in your reading. Because of what they're doing. Because of this. This here. Okay. The high priestess. This person picks up on it. This person can read, see it a mile away. They already know. That people are envious of them. That people do not speak their truth. When it comes to the high priestess. Here. But what it also talks about here in your reading. Is that this person has compassion. This person has empathy here. So they're able to see past this envy here in your reading and understand why people are the way that they are here, why people react. Because I get here in your reading, a lot of people react when it comes to your person, when they do what they are doing here. 
And when they think outside of the box, this person does not follow sheep. Okay, this person is not a follower. This person actually does things their way, no longer investing in how other people see it, how society sees it here. Okay. You're coming in with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords here. So this is interesting here, guys. So with the Queen of Cups, this is challenging obstacles. With the Queen of Cups, what it talks about there in your reading is filling one's cup. So in the past, what did it look like? Because I get here in your reading is that this Queen of Cups, this High Priestess, they have always been an option. And what it talks about there in your reading, even if this person was involved in a serious relationship, they were always the option here. It's almost like saying here, the people that they got with, all right, did other things before them, put other things before them. But in saying that, so did the Queen of Cups. So who filled this person's cup and how did they fill it? And what it kind of talks about here in your reading, if it's a proving to be a challenge and an obstacle, it was a challenge and an obstacle for this person, what it talks about there in your reading is that this person gave it out. They gave here, hoping that that would be returned. You're talking about someone who's coming away from, yeah, it's not being defined by what other people say it should look like, what love looks like. And to choose yourself after giving so much or after, you know, giving love or loving a certain way, their skewed perception of love, it would have proven to be a challenge for this person to actually put themselves first here in your reading and to follow their heart's desire because this may have meant that they had to step outside of a comfort zone. This is what I'm getting. Now you're also coming in with the Queen of Swords here. So what I get there in your reading is with the Queen of Swords here is being able to speak your truth here, not being almost two-faced here, okay? Because this person, this high priestess, she knows people don't have her best heart at, your interests at heart. So why is she going to be gullible? Why is she going to allow other people to treat her a certain way and she's going to allow that to happen here? By putting up a facade here in your reading that it's okay the way in which you think about me because I get here in your reading, this person knows knows exactly how people see her. There is envy around this person and they know it. But what keeps this person stuck here in your reading is not being true. Is they know people are being deceptive. Yet people are are too wearing, you know, two faced to this person. It's like they're smiling in this person's face here. Okay? And this person's smiling back. When in actual fact what it talks about here in your reading is that this person is going to actually say and speak their truth. So when they know that two-faced people are coming towards them, this is what your reading's saying. Okay, guys? I don't know how else to be clear. When two-faced people come towards them and say hello, this person is able to say no. Or well, this person is able to say whatever. Here in your reading. I don't want to know you. That's what the obstacle here and the challenge here is in your reading. Okay? For this person. True and authentic here. To If they are going to walk this path, then they need to be that. They need to be the difference. That's what it's saying, as opposed to just following the sheep and don't want to cause <clears throat> any problems here. But if they do it that way, then they become the problem. That's what it's saying. Because they're not doing anything to change it. 
yet they and whatever they do isn't going to bring about change isn't going to change this envy that surrounds this person the deception that surrounds the person on your mind and they know it here in your reading what it also talks about here in your reading is that this person knows that there are other people that it's <clears throat> here that other people struggle with what this person has chosen just because this person chose a certain path people struggle with that because it was far better that this person was just asleep that this person was a sheep that's what I'm getting okay now you're coming in with the seven of swords and the six of wands they have victory, they have inner strength, they have overcome this here. Of course, it kind of talks about here in your reading is that it would have been an obstacle for this person because they would have had to compete here. They would have had to gain their confidence in, you know, regardless of what was going on here for this person. They had to dig deep here and do it regardless. It talks about valour in the face of adversity here and what it kind of talks about here in your reading is that no matter where this person goes no matter what this person does they are always going to be faced with deception and envy envy here deception but they have to trust and now they do now they have that inner strength now they trust okay now they trust now they are willing to listen now they are ready to speak their truth. No more bullshit. No more lies. To end the lie may mean that this person says it. So people stop lying. That's what I'm getting. So people stop lying to this person. Alright guys. Okay, so the outcome here in your reading is the King of Cups. You have counterparts. You have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. This person is in love with you. This person loves you. This is your person. Here. And their emotions haven't... I, I get here with the telepathy card here in your reading is that you both feel it here. You both love each other. It's both the same. But with the judgment card coming in here. All right, guys. What it talks about there in your reading is, I want to see it. I want to see you in front of my eyeballs. I want to see you make a move to me. I want you to put your heart on the line. I want the truth. Do you really have feelings for me? This is what this person, okay? This is the both of you. This is the both of you sign. I don't want to assume i suppose i don't want to have delusions here illusions that you see me as here the one here in your reading you know with the queen of cups coming in here what it can also talk about there in your reading is that this person the queen of cups thinking here that love by loving these people who are being deceptive, it's going to change them. But it didn't. That's the delusion. Okay? That didn't change the Seven of Swords. People have lied to the High Priestess. People have taken from the High Priestess here. And people have cheated the High Priestess. But in order to get to the high priestess here, in some cases, if not all, there are trials and tribulations this person has to go through. There are battles that need to be won here in your reading. There are battles that are needed to be won here. Okay. All right. Telepathy. So telepathy here in your reading could very well be talking about the way in which you feel about each other. It's that vibration, it's that frequency, the frequency here of love. When you fall in love with this person, when you love this person here, you send love to this person and they send that love back to you. That's what I'm getting. All right. 
here in your reading. You can't get away from it. Telepathy. And if you're coming in with the High Priestess card, what it can kind of talk about there in your reading is it needs to be on the earthly plane. It needs to be in front of your eyeballs. You need to be in front of your person's eyeballs here. It can't stay where it is. Okay, guys. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching Collective. Book an image reading, tarot reading with me. Details are below. Flick me an email and I'll sort it from my end. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.